Good morning. In this, we will quickly learn about the qualitative analysis, the principles of qualitative analysis, especially many questions were asked is based on uh, practical principles, practical concepts in INT, JAM, GEE, NEET, etc. Okay, now we will understand easily the principles involving separation of cation, cations. For example, you have metal ions, for example, lead, uh, these several metal ions, how they are grouped into uh, six groups and uh, six groups, how these metal ions are grouped based on the solubility product principle. The separation of cations is based on the product of, uh, based on the solubility product principle. Okay. I will make you easily understand now. For example, uh, we, have, we have six groups and uh, in addition zero group. First group, what is first group? What are first group metal ions? They will ask me uh, what are the first group metal ions? How they are deposited? They are precipitated. Okay, for example, the first group cations, lead, mercurous, silver plus, they are deposited as chlorides. The reagent, what is the group reagent used? They will ask, what is the group reagent? I will say CL is used as a group reagent. Okay, now, let us come to second group. Second group, to the original solution, you add HCl, okay, take a test tube, add original solution, and add a uh, few drops of dilute HCl. If you get precipitate, then it is a first group. If you don't get a precipitate, then pass H2S gas to it. Okay. Now, in the presence of dilute HCl, you pass H2S, you will get copper sulphide, cadmium sulphide, uh, arsenia sulphide, uh, tannous sulphide, etc. If uh, they are present, if the second group metal ions are present, if they are not present, then you add to the same test tube, you add two or three drops of concentrated nitric acid and to heat it, it will oxidize the hydrogen sulfide present in it and therefore it will remove the hydrogen sulfide present in the reaction mixture. Then you add ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. The third group metal ions, Fe3+, aluminum 3+, chromium 3+, they are deposited as hydroxides, ferric hydroxide, chromium hydroxide and aluminum hydroxide. Okay, and if there is no precipitate, if there is no precipitate in the third group, to the same solution you pass H2S gas, you pass H2S gas, then uh, they are precipitated as uh, the fourth group metal cations are precipitated as sulfides, man sulfide, cobalt sulfide, nickel sulfide, zinc sulfide. Okay, now in the fifth group, in the fifth group you add uh, to the same solution, you add ammonium carbonate. You have in the reaction mixture ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide, and H2S. When you heat H2S, it will be removed, expelled, and then you, when you when you add ammonium carbonate, the fifth group cations, calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate, and barium carbonate as precipitate. Okay, sixth group. In the sixth group, you have magnesium 2 plus, sodium 2 plus, they have no common group reagents. And in the zero group, you have ammonia. Okay, now what are the questions still? They will ask you basically, what, uh, why do you add, why do you add dilute HCl? For example, you have copper, uh, second, in the second group, copper sulfide uh, and the fourth group, you see, they are, they are precipitated as sulfides. Second group, metal group cations and also fourth group uh, cations. Why, why they are separated? How they are separated? For example, in the ask why do you add dilute HCl? Why do you add dilute HCl? So they will ask why. So for example, why minus uh, cobalt sulfide, nickel sulfide is not precipitated in the second group? What is the reason? They will ask you. Okay, second group cations: copper sulfide, uh, cadmium sulfide, bismuth sulfide. They are also deposited as sulfides and also fourth group nickel, nickel, tin salts are also are, are also precipitated as sulfides. Okay, why they are separated? Why uh, nickel sulfide, tin uh, sulfide are precipitated in the fourth group instead of in the second group? They are all, they are based on solubility product principle as I said. If you look at the Copper sulfide, the solubility product is 1 into 10 power minus 40 to 44. 
visible sulfide 1 into 10 power minus 72. Okay, the, let us look at the solubility product of nickel sulfide. The solubility product is nothing but CUS against Cu plus. It is an equilibrium process. Um, solubility of copper ion, solubility of a concentration of copper ion, concentration of sulfide ion. Therefore, KSP equal to S into S, S square. Okay, solubility KSP. So, if you look at the solubility of nickel sulfide, 1 into 10 power minus 24, zinc sulfide, 1 into 10 power minus 22. If you look at the two, you see they are 20. 10 power 20 times uh, greater. This is 10 power 20 times greater. The solubility product of the fourth group metal metal sulfides are greater. Okay. Now, as you see, the uh, we need to in order to understand that there are two terms. There are three terms. One is solubility product. Another is ionic product. Another is common ionic effect. We need to know these three uh, facts. Okay. Let us now look at the uh, as I said. The solubility product of second group metal ion metal sulfides are lower than lower compared to uh, fourth group metal sulfides. Okay. Now, if it's a simple rule, if ionic product is greater than solubility product, precipitation occurs. This is a simple rule. What is ionic product? Ionic product is equal to the product of uh, the concentration of copper. For example, if you take copper ion and you add sulfide, and uh, if the ionic product exceeds the solubility product, then the precipitation will occur. Okay, for example, the, the, in the case of copper sulfide, it is very, very less soluble because the solubility product is very, very lower. Therefore, the solubility is very, very less. Therefore, the copper ions and sulfide ions will be very, very less. Therefore, very small, uh, very small sulfide ion is required, required, is required for ionic product to be greater than solubility product. For example, let us see now, it will, it will be understood here. For example, second group, why do you add HCl? If you don't add HCl, copper will also be, uh, fourth group cations will also be deposited. For example, I will show here, H2S, H2S is a weak acid, it undergoes a partial dissociation to give H plus and H2 minus. Okay? In the presence of HCl, in the presence of dilute HCl, dilute HCl is a strong acid, it gives H plus and Cl minus ion. Now, if H plus, it gives H plus ion, it is common to the uh, product of H plus ion concentration of H2S gas. Therefore, according to Lee-Chartier principle, when you add products, the, the equilibrium will shift towards left. Therefore, more and more sulfide ion will combine with the H plus ion to form undissociated H2S. Therefore, in the medium, less, less Concentration, low concentration of sulfide ion is present. This low concentration of sulfide ion, for example, uh, what is ionic product? The concentrations of copper ion and sulfide ion present at that time. Whereas, in the case of solubility product, it is at the equilibrium concentration. It is at the equilibrium concentration, it is constant. It is constant. Therefore, as the low concentration of, we need uh, low concentration of sulfide ion to precipitate second group metal sulfides. Okay. So because of common ion effect, because of as you see, because of common ion effect, the sulfide ion concentration is decreased. The decrease the decreased the, the decrease in sulfide ion concentration uh, decreases uh, the amount of sulfide ion. Okay, amount of balance in the let us see fourth group. Fourth group similarly you add, um, you have hydrogen sulfide and also ammonium hydroxide, ammonium hydroxide and ammonium chloride. Now let us look at ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide also dissociates to give ammonium, ammonium ion and OH minus ion. Therefore now OH minus ion removes, removes H plus ion. Therefore the equilibrium according to each other ground principle, uh, one of the product is removed. Therefore, in order to keep it keep the equilibrium constant, the equilibrium shifted in the forward direction. Shift in the forward direction. Therefore, large concentration of sulfide ion is present, so that the ionic product will be because KSP is larger. Therefore, the ionic product should also be larger. The ionic product should also be larger. Therefore, fourth group cation cations are precipitated as sulfides only in the presence of ammonium, ammonium hydroxide. Okay? So it will not be deposited 
fourth group cation cannot be, cannot be deposited in the second group because the concentration of sulfur ion is very very less. Uh, therefore, the ionic product cannot exceed cannot exceed the solubility product. Cannot exceed the solubility product. It is the simple principle. Many questions were asked. Uh, many problems were asked uh, based on this concept. Okay. Similarly, as you see, why, uh, for example, uh, why do you add ammonium hydroxide, ammonium chloride in the fifth group? If you don't add, then magnesium carbonate will be precipitated. For example, if you don't, uh, if you don't have ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide plus ammonium carbonate, because why I have shown here. Uh, for example, uh, yeah, fifth group, ammonium carbonate. Ammonium carbonate gives ammonium ion, which is the plus carbonate anion. Okay, ammonium chloride, in the presence of ammonium chloride, it gives ammonium ion and Cl minus ion. Because of the common ion effect, the concentration of, because of the common ion effect, uh, the concentration of carbonate ion is decreased. For example, uh, in the case of, uh, because of the uh, common ion effect, the equilibrium, the reaction shift in the reverse direction. We have a reaction shift in the reverse direction. Therefore, the concentration of carbonate ion is very less. Otherwise, magnesium will be deposited as precipitated as magnesium carbonate. For example, they will ask a, they have asked a question in NEET, JE, uh, what will happen when you add uh, ammonium instead of ammonium carbonate? What will happen when you add sodium carbonate? If you add sodium carbonate, this also precipitated, and the sixth group magnesium also will be precipitated. So you cannot add. Similarly, ammonium sulfate cannot be added. For example, ammonium chloride you have added, you have added. Why don't you add ammonium sulfate? If you add ammonium sulfate, then the strontium sulfate, barium sulfate will be precipitated. So therefore, um, ammonium sulfate cannot be added. Similarly, if you look at the third group, third group also ammonium hydroxide. Third, what is the third group reagent here? Ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium hydroxide is a weak base. It is dissociated partially into ammonium plus OH minus ion. Therefore, ammonium chloride, in the presence of ammonium chloride, otherwise what will happen if you don't uh, uh, very carefully, listen carefully, in the absence of ammonium chloride, uh, fourth group ion, sixth group, uh, fifth group ion will be deposited as hydroxide. Okay? So therefore, ammonium chloride, because of common ion effect, the concentration of OH minus ion will be less, will be less. Uh, therefore, uh, only the solubility product, based on the solubility product uh, concept and the ionic products, only uh, the third group metal ions are precipitated as ferric hydroxide and chromium uh, hydroxide. Okay, so it is a simple rule that uh, if ionic product is greater than solubility product, precipitation occurs. Thank you for watching.